So good afternoon my YouTube family. How are you guys doing today? So my last video I said that was going to be my last one probably for South Carolina before I go home. But that was an apple cider vinegar. So check that one out below. Um, but I think this one might be. Maybe. Unless if I get another quick idea. So I just made that one about an hour ago. So I know for a while... When I was younger, I used to use, um, olive oil to take off my eye makeup, and then I used to use, if I didn't have the oil, the olive oil, I would use coconut oil. Now, there's a bunch of benefits for both of these, and they're both about the same. It's supposed to help with fine lines, wrinkles, um... It's not supposed to hurt your pores. It's supposed to be good in nutrients for your face and all that other stuff. But what I never thought of is after I use that apple cider vinegar, um, it burnt like one side of my face. I, get, I don't really want to say burn because it really did not feel like it was burning, but I left it extremely red. So I did end up putting makeup on. And it's been about an hour now, so I want, and then I replied more makeup on top of the makeup that I did have, just for this. I want to see which one's better, if it really works like I remember it working, or what was going on. So my olive oil is opened, it's just about gone, and then this is open too, so... We're going to take a couple of the cotton balls because I really want to take off the makeup to see if my face is still red because I got it covering really good. But I really want to see which one works better. So there is other YouTube YouTubers that's tried this or been using it. Some of them said they've been using it for years and... And like I said, I remember doing it while I was a kid. So I did end up using more makeup, putting more makeup on to see if, um, which one's better. And like I said, they both have the same results and same stuff that's supposed to be good for your skin, neutralizing it. It's supposed to be safe and healthy. It's not supposed to break you out. It's supposed to help with wrinkles. I mean... They say there's a lot of benefits to it. So I got my cotton ball with my olive oil got stuck there. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the eye first. And it's not supposed to burn the eye or anything like that. So like I said, it's been a minute. And I did add extra makeup on to see, to check this out. So they say just to go ahead and wipe gently. It's supposed to take off all your mascara and all that other good stuff. Okay, so it it is taking off the makeup, but I do still see mascara. And I'd still see eyeliner. Alright. So we're just going to do the same on the other side. It did take off a lot of it, but again, I still got a lot of makeup, more makeup with the olive oil, or the coconut oil than I do the olive oil. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick. 
And then they say that you go ahead and wipe it down too. To take off the rest of your makeup. But you put it in your hand. Whoa, that is a lot. Warm it up. We're just going to do half of the lipstick. And then when I get done with this, I'm going to try the Neutrogena face wash to see what all we missed. I'm just going to get a clean rag. And you're supposed to be able just to just wash it off. Okay, so I did get a lot of the makeup off. My face feels really oily. And I see a lot there. So let's go ahead and wash our hands again. And on the other side, we're going to try the coconut oil. Maybe that might help. But I, I feel greasy. I feel oily. But I can see that it's moisturized in my face. So it's doing something. This is the side I am concerned about. Warming up in my hands. Because I did that apple cider vinegar. And you could see that in my last video and it's all warm it's all and it made my face really really red so if you do use that apple cider vinegar make sure oh look it spread the lipstick more than it the olive oil did that's weird that was different. Make sure you add water. Now my face does feel really, it really don't feel greasy. Uh, it feels greasy, but it feels soft too. I didn't use my neck. And it's been about an hour since I did the um, apple cider vinegar. It looks like my face has calmed down. I'm just gonna wash my hands again. Blood and water everywhere. I'm soaked. I don't know how the heck I did that. And then I'm gonna take the same rag but a different side and just wipe it off. I says it's supposed to oh Okay, my results on it. It took off, both of it took off, just I did this side with the olive oil or the coconut oil and then this side was the olive oil. And then I switched over and there's some more of the coconut oil. So I would say that it took off more 
the coconut oil, maybe a little bit more. My face feels soft. And uh, now look. I still got the little pimple there, but that just popped up. So, like last night. My lips feel really soft. All right, so we're going to do the Neutrogena face wash to see how much extra stuff I have on my face. Now, I know it's oily, but does it feel clean? It feels moisturized. It feels really soft. It feels really smooth, and it feels evened. So... And there's supposed to be so much good benefits using both of these. So, instead of using like a nighttime moisturizer or something like that, my face is still really red. See, like, and that is from the apple cider vinegar. But let's see how much makeup it really did take off. I would not use it for a makeup remover. But I'm a type of person, I really don't like um, oils. I don't like lotion, but I use it anyways because just to hydrate my skin. But I'm very, very picky because that texture on my hands, I just, I can't do some of it. Oh, that was stupid. I meant to use the other side. Damn it. Okay, well, that didn't work. And this side of my face is really red still. Now, there ain't a lot on the cotton ball, but there is still a little bit of makeup. And then there is a little bit more. Now, with this set, I really don't know exactly how much makeup was left because I used a dirty spot when I meant to use a clean spot. But we can figure it out on with the olive oil. Okay, there's a little bit left of the olive oil side. And my cotton ball, there's this one, and you can see a little bit on it, and then there is more with the olive oil. So I would, or the coconut oil. So it took off more makeup on the Oliveira than it did with the coconut oil. Now, even using the face wash, I keep on grabbing the wrong damn thing. My face feels soft. It feels smooth. I wouldn't use it for a cleaner whatsoever. I would definitely use it for a moisturizer. I mean, my face does feel really, really soft. And my face has calmed down a lot. But you can still see where it's red. 
And like I said, I did that apple cider vinegar about an hour ago. Maybe a little bit longer now. So make sure if you guys do use that apple cider vinegar, make sure you half and half it or even put more than half water and half of the apple cider vinegar. Um, it did. The apple cider vinegar really didn't dry out my face, but it did make it look like I got a sunburn. So that's, yeah. Um, the Neutrogena costs about five, six bucks. And the apple cider vinegar costs about four, five. So I'm, I will still be using my face wash. But then again, I could go ahead and do either one of the oils actually for a moisturizer because I know just I felt like it did not get my face clean with the oils my lips feels really soft I do like that and that's it for this video give me a thumbs up if you like it check out the apple cider vinegar one and that's down below um But yeah, it, it don't burn, but you definitely need to make sure you add water to it. Lots of, like at least half and half or even more than half, like I said. And it's not, it's a little warm to the touch, but this side is not. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will probably see you next time when I'm in Missouri. Love you.